Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Extinct Breaks Originals! And for this very very special episode, we will be featuring this medium-sized Tyrannosaur, the LEGO compatible custom Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Teratoponius. But before we head on with this video, I'd like to say thanks to YouTube.com Audio Library for this awesome background music. Please also like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And to be able to support my channel, please do not skip on all the ads on all my videos. Thanks everyone and maraming maraming salamat! You may also like to follow me on all my social media platforms. We have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Leica. It is there where I'll be posting some of my exclusive photos and also videos as well. So I'll see you there everyone! I guess this PC contest will start in a few, so let's start with the lucky picks and here they are! Terry Ratchet Juice and Gaming Winter Soldier D. Luffy Lashita Malikarachi Your local Spinosaurus Lavinia Thompson and Spinoraptor Congratulations everyone! And now for our top 10 winners! Godzilla Dinosaurs Lizards and all Dinomation Marshall Wittek City Ajar Cinemorph 636 Red Wolf Timo Maddo Grabnadu Mandy Amar and Colton Todd. Congratulations everyone! And I'll see you on the next Guess the Species Contest! And for those of you who'd like to join as well, here's how! Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and it will lead you to the Extinct Bricks homepage. And in the homepage, just click on that community link and it will lead you to all my posts. And that's the elusive Teratophonius for you guys. Well, let's begin with the making of the Teratophonius. This is actually a mixture of some new parts and also some old parts as well. Uh, you can see here that it is actually from my old Ceratosaurus. I have actually used an original Lego base plate on the back of this uh, creature, you know, just to um, give it a little more kick, I guess. And after some modifications in terms of sculpting, I had this one primered so that it will be ready for, you know, painting. And as you know, what I used for my primer would be number 68 Bosnia in gray. And here it is. So I was looking for some references of the Theratophonius uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and found this photo in the internet. It actually looks good with several details on the cracks as well as, you know, scales of this particular um, dinosaur. I also did uh, took a look on several, you know, skull photos of this one. I know that the teratophonius in the movie is quite, you know, um, thin. Maybe it's just uh, because it's already rotting dead. Uh, but in some of the pictures that I saw, the Teratophonius will have a similar, you know, um, head bulkiness as that of the T-Rex, just a little bit more, you know, thinner than uh, the usual. Okay, so in terms of coloration, I also use um, acrylics, and this time I mix some uh, colors of white, brown, greens, and uh, yellow ochre. This ended up with a color that is uh, very similar to my Tyrannosaurus Rex Rexy. That particular custom of mine was such a joy to make one and if you haven't really seen that video yet, please uh, click on the Extinct Bricks um, playlist and uh, search there for the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, so with the same color that I have, I added several tones of white to it so that it will end up lighter. And then I colored the underbelly of this particular dinosaur with that same color. Usually when I paint, I wait for the first color to dry up before I start with another. 
but since I'm using the same color here, uh, I went on ahead and colored the uh, underbelly. And then I added several more brown to this uh, same color uh, palette and then I applied it on the back as well as the top of the head of this uh, particular dinosaur. This actually gives it that region from uh, brown to lighter brown to an almost white underbelly. The color is actually looking more like coffee to me, not super brown, but uh, you get what I mean. So it's time for me to, you know, add several more details such as speckling of the same color that I have here on the back as well as the neck and the tail region. This time I'm using my fine point um, brush to create or recreate all of these details. So same goes for all my creations, uh, at least for the carnivores, I usually add several details on the feet, uh, such as these um, scales, just to make it more detailed. The teratophone used in the references that I'm actually using has this uh, bluish green um, markings on the back as well as the head and the tail as well. So I mix a little bit of brown with blues and greens and then ended up with this color. Of course I didn't want it to be too dark so I added a pinch or a drop of white to it. The Theratophonius in the reference that I have also has this white, um, you know, cracks on the uh, body all over the legs and also the tail. Uh, so I use my um, metal ballpoint brush here and I applied thin markings on the back as well as the legs and also the tail. Among the other details that I actually done here would of course be the eyes, the nails, and also the insides of the mouth and the teeth. And that's it for the first part of the video, the making of the Teratophonius. I hope you guys learned something from this uh, portion of my video. Now let's move on with the sand bricks of the Teratophonius. You can do it and let's go in. This has 8 parts to it. Let's start with the head. Now let's connect the lower jaw of this particular figure. There is some difficulty in you know connecting this one so I'm doing this off cam. And there you have it. All attached and intact. <laughs> well, let's attach this one to the neck portion of the body. There you go. Let's now attach the arms. Those two little arms with two tiny fingers on each arm. Now let's connect the legs. Let's start with the left and then with the right one. There you go. And let's attach a tail. And voila! There you have it! Now let's move on with the closer look of this figure. Wow! And there you have it, our Teratophonius chasing Moira here. But Moira is not afraid, so she's excited to be joining me in presenting the Teratophonius custom that we just actually did. And as I've said earlier, this custom is actually based off from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Teratophonius. Somehow similar to the photo below. Moira will be coming back later for some size comparisons, but... For now, let us have a closer look. And 3, 2, 1. Tchadaan! There you have it. Let's start with a closer look. Let's pick up this bad boy and let's see it from a closer distance. So this Tyrannosaur um, dinosaur is actually 
a medium sized dinosaur pretty much smaller than the ceratosaurus that i have currently and um it really has the features of a tyrannosaur such as long teeth bulky head strong jaws things like that the overall color scheme is actually based off from the photo i saw you earlier which is the same as the most probable photo when this uh, particular dinosaur was still alive in the movie. It has two tiny hands with two tiny fingers in it and has strong legs in it. It has two by three studs on the back. There you go. And you can see that it also has a thick tail that actually counterbalances its weight and its big head. You may notice that feet, they are not actually Lego compatible but they're Duplo uh, compatible because I actually um, used the Raptor from the Duplo and put it here or applied it here on this particular custom. This allowed me to have a little bit smaller um, medium sized theropod compared to the usual theropods that I do that are medium sized as well. So they're practically uh, a little bit smaller than the usual. The markings on the back and the head are quite similar because I usually do one side first and then the next one will follow so that the contralateral side will be uh, somehow similar or symmetrical to the um, other side or the first one that I did. So the articulations of course would be opening its mouth and uh, moving its head up and down and it can also be twisted like so. Of course, the arms are movable, the legs are movable, and the tail can be twisted as well. And that's it for the closer look of the Teratophonius from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now it's time for us to move on with the next portion of this video. It's time for size comparisons. And of course, for the size comparisons, I'm bringing back here Moira so that we can actually compare her with the size of this particular dinosaur. So, comparing the size of Moira to this dinosaur, definitely she's smaller. This is most likely accurate with the actual size of the dinosaur Teratophonius to a human being. Here's a sample of that particular photo. And I think that's about just right in terms of proportions and also the size of this dinosaur. Now let's compare this one with some of my recent customs. This is the Extinct Rix Stegimolok. As some of you may already know, the Stegimolok is one of my most favorite dinosaurs of all time aside from the Pachycephalosaurus. And I think the Stegimolok would, you know, give it a fight between this one. She won't actually have stand the match though because of those really large teeth. <laughs> well, that is it for our Stiggy Mulok. Thank you Stiggy! And for our next size comparisons, I'm bringing back a much larger herbivore here, the Extinct Rix Triceratops. This Triceratops is actually based off from the Jurassic Park 1 Prime Studio Triceratops. You know, I know that you, most of you guys are expecting a brown or a gray Triceratops, but since I think the Prime Studio one is pretty much accurate to that of the Jurassic Park uh, movie franchise, so I actually base it out from that particular, you know, um, recreation of the Triceratops. And of course, comparing both in terms of size, the Teratophonius is quite smaller i guess in terms of you know eyeballing it but uh in actuality if we put it side by side the teratophonius is just about the same length as that of the triceratops so if you see it from the top view considering the horn of the triceratops definitely it's just about the same length as that of the teratophonius
most of us are actually accustomed already that the Triceratops can beat the Tyrannosaurus, but this time, we'll pass out for now. Here's another comparison. This is the extinct Greek Ceratosaurus. Since I used the Ceratosaurus, my old one, on this Ceratophonius, so might as well bring back my new Ceratosaurus here for comparisons. So the Ceratosaurus that I have here is much larger than this Ceratophonius. You can see here, even from the hip height, that the Ceratosaurus is much higher or much taller than this Ceratosaurus or this uh, Ceratophonius rather. In terms of length, the Ceratosaurus is also longer than this Ceratophonius, as you can see here. Who do you think would win if ever these two would meet in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Do you think that the Ceratosaurus may have killed the Ceratophonius? Well, I don't know. It's up for our imagination, actually. And for the last of the comparisons, this is the extinct Rex Tyrannosaurus Rex or Rexy. Now, the Tyrannosaurus Rex is actually a larger cousin or older cousin than the um, Tyrannophonius. The Tyrannosaurus Rex definitely is larger compared to this uh, uh, medium-sized theropod. And looking at it side by side, the color schemes are rather, you know, similar but different in many ways. Also, a comparison between the height and also the length is rather obvious. The Teratophonius being smaller in all aspects compared to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Taking a look at the figures from the top portion or top view, you can see somehow, you know, unique patterns uh, for both. Both will have, you know, certain stripes on the top and typically not being seen on the sides of these figures. In Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom the movie, the Teratophonius is actually seen just lying down dead for several days or months already. The most likely cause of that would be, you know, a bite from a larger predator or maybe sickness. Not necessarily, you know, uh, related to the volcano eruption, I guess. Moira is actually concerned, but um, since this is a toy, it's okay Moira, don't cry. Well, let's move on with the PC roll call. But before that, if you do have any suggestions on the next probably a Tyrannosaurus species as well that you'd like to um, request, you may comment them down in the comments below. I do read most of your comments and I'm really glad for your uh, suggestions as well as you know um, praises for most of my customs. So thank you, thank you so much everyone. Also, Moira here would like to remind everyone that in the Extinct Bricks playlist, you may be able to access all the videos that you see of all the creatures that we've featured here, such as this Digimulog and the rest. Well, let's start with the PC Roll Call. This is the Extinct Bricks Jurassic World Stigimulok, the Jurassic Park Extinct Bricks Triceratops, the Extinct Bricks Jurassic Park Ceratosaurus, the Extinct Bricks Jurassic Park Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Tyrannosaurus Rex or Rexy, and of course, the start of the show here, the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Ceratophonius. <laughs> well, it's almost end of the video, so it's time for us to have some last looks on the Teratophonius. The Teratophonius actually came from the two Greek words Teres meaning monster and Phonius meaning murderer, that it is also known as the monster murderer. The Teratophonius lived in the late Cretaceous period around 76.1 to 74 million years ago and is part of the Tyrannosauridae family. It can grow up to a length of 20 feet, a weight of 667 kilograms, and a height of 8.5 feet. Not bad!
Vroom 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 vroom! Hurry up, Moira! The Theratophonius is on your tail! Well, that's it for the video on the Theratophonius. I hope you guys like it! Until next time! But first, don't forget to watch the videos of Adventures of Moira and Asher, our babies! Please like, share, and subscribe to their channel as well. Thanks everyone! And as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar! Thanks everyone and bye!